What is up today, YouTube? So we're gonna be dealing with taking some trim pieces actually off of my truck today because I think it would clean it up a lot and it would look pretty good. So this is what we're gonna be working with right here. So we're gonna get this trim piece off today along with the back and also the other side as well. And then, you know, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this thing right here. I'm gonna keep the Sierra because I like that. And also I'm gonna keep the Sierra here and also the four x four on the front. I know I kind of like it. I just think trim pieces can sometimes a little bit too extra. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to get those pieces off today. And let's go ahead and get started on that. Go ahead and give it a wash uh not like the whole truck because it's a little late and i don't want it to get too dark on me but uh, i'm just going to clean like down here also on the other side and then on the back around that area where i'm going to be debadging the sle so this way i won't you know like scratch anything up if i'm rubbing against my paint or anything too bad and it, it just makes the top a little cleaner finish that we can go inside and go and start taking it off So you don't really need many like items for this project, I guess. Uh, it's pretty simple, kind of straightforward, but you have to do be careful with um, with your paint and also using a heat gun. So I'll show you the supplies here. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need just a standard drill uh, that you can insert a drill bit into. And then also you're gonna have to buy a 3M adhesive wheel. <laughs> They're kind of expensive, I'm gonna be honest with you. This was like $44 and I was really on the edge about buying it, but I was like, you know what? I could use it for future projects. So have that, connect these two. Just get you a standard heat gun. I went to Lowe's and got this for like $25. You know, not too bad. And then for after, whenever uh, I do clean everything up, I wanna go ahead and hit it one more time with some lacquer thinner, just to kind of make sure I get all that sticky residue and adhesive off the paint and off my truck. And then of course a rag to clean that up with. And then you're gonna need either I've seen people use floss, but in this case, I'm just gonna use some fishing line. You're gonna get your heat gun here. Come on. And you're not gonna want it, you're not gonna wanna like melt the paint. So if you want to, you can keep it on like, this has like a one and two setting. I'm gonna keep it on like one, just kind of mess with it a little bit. And uh, basically, yeah, that's the whole objective is to go ahead and just heat up all the adhesive and kind of start working this trim piece off. So I'm ready for this to be gone. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. Finally went out and got a heat gun and uh, let's get into it. Some of you probably tell me right now to just go ahead and, and rip it off, but I don't know. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I know y'all probably have ripped yours off if you've ever taken trim off, but for me, I don't know. I'd rather just play it safe and just make sure that they separate cleanly and then, you know, so I'm in no rush, so. to keep doing that all right uh don't be an idiot like me um <laughs> when you put this in don't just put it like where the little screw piece is put it all the way in and make sure it is spinning actually clockwise <laughs> taking my trim pieces off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean everything off. Go ahead and get my lacquer thinner right here and uh, make sure we get it nice and no more any kind of adhesive left at all. And then we're gonna go ahead and whenever I get 
uh, all the pieces off. We're gonna go ahead and wax it, because as you can tell, there's probably a very obvious color difference. So far, it's looking good, and so now let's go ahead and clean it up. I think it looks pretty good so far. Come down the side. Oh, it's so crazy. You can actually see like where I cleaned it versus the dirt line on my truck. That's crazy. But yeah, I think it looks pretty clean. Uh, so I'm gonna really, really, really love it whenever it is clean all the way down the side. But I'm not gonna really bore you with the whole uh, demolding and all that stuff. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and skip to the back. I'm really glad that I'm removing all of this because that trim piece also had a bunch of dirt kicked up right towards the back and even on the other side too. So I'm really glad because look at that, like that was dirt just like just trapped back here. Look at that. All that dirt just trapped, man. So it's coming together, guys. We're getting close to mention. Uh, when I'm taking it off, what I'm actually doing is I'm going in layers, so it's like, I'll hit this like top piece, or I guess like the upper piece of that, and then I'll hit like the middle, and then I'll come towards the bottom, and then I can go back and clean up anything else that's like really tiny. All right, guys. So we have successfully taken off all the trim on the passenger side, and just look at that. Like, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's like a slight line right there. You might be able to see it right there, like right in the middle. I don't know if you can see it or not. Actually, I can see it, but looks pretty good. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with how it came out, doing with the lighting I'm dealing with right now, but looks really, really good. Alrighty, it is finally done. And it has taken like, it's taken a good bit, probably a couple hours. Uh, it's currently like, like 10 till 10, so. It looks pretty good. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and clean all this up, but let's just take a look at this real quick. Man, that looks amazing, look at that. Look at that. Nice and clean. Looks pretty tapered up. I'm loving that. But we'll go ahead, and we'll get some, some after shots. Right, guys so it's actually obviously probably the next day i finished around like 10 last night and look at that oh. would you look at that yeah, oh my gosh i just of course washed and everything but look at this like look how look how clean that looks now and it's been probably like three and a half months since i've washed this truck forgot how much it cleans right up but Oh, it looks so good. And on the other side too. Look at that. And then also on the back as well. Took off that SLE badge. 
it kind of gives it like a nice clean look doesn't have too much yeah it just looks looks really really clean i love it we have a lot of things coming to this truck i'm still gonna do mom repaint those bumpers and uh, we're going to probably be wrapping a few things soon so i'm gonna stick around for that but yeah i think that's gonna wrap it up for this video i uh, hope you guys enjoy how this looks hopefully it helped out it did take me a little, little longer than I thought it would be. More so, uh, removing the trim pieces weren't as bad, but it was just kind of getting all of that adhesive off. It was just a lot of sitting there with the adhesive wheel remover and just, just going at it. And make sure if you do do this, you have backup batteries, because my first one, the, the standard one they give you, like died on me, so I had to get my, my bigger one. And then actually that one ended up dying after I think like three of just constant like remove all the trim pieces so make sure you have extra batteries and uh you know if you'd like to see more things like this let me know uh, i'm gonna try to walk dry this thing off some more but hope you guys enjoy and just one more good look at it Fresh. just look at it oh yeah really cleans it up all right hope you guys enjoy have a good one peace